Right now, parts of the world are burning. These little red dots represent current fire alerts around the globe. Wildfires have started becoming more intense and frequent, with the effects of climate change intensifying the phenomenon. Agencies today are turning to more innovative tools to keep up with the flames rather than your classic fire hose. So how can we fight wildfires more successfully with the help of technology? It can often start with just one carelessly tossed cigarette in a dry forest, finishing with thousands of people evacuated from their homes, or even worse, lives lost. It might take residents hours, sometimes even days, to report a wildfire to the authorities. With the help of technology, that time can be reduced to a couple of minutes. Several companies work with artificial intelligence. Software analyzes satellite images and sensors on the ground, checking for smoke or shifts in thermal infrared data that could indicate a fire has been ignited. If a fire is detected, this information is passed on to the first responders. With machine learning, we can actually teach the computers to identify an actual flame, or we can also teach that technology to uh, determine if it's using thermal imagery, whether it's a stationary flame from perhaps a power station compared to a moving uh, flame from a wildfire. So in that sense, uh, the technology for automated detection is really important. Wildfires are exactly that, wild, so it's important to control them. Flames can change direction depending on the wind or spread at different speeds. FireMap predicts a fire's expected development for the next hours. It is built on AI deep learning techniques that consider all existing data, the weather, dryness of vegetation, historical fire perimeters, as well as information from satellites or sensors on the ground. Other software also simulates the spread of wildfires to offer a basis on which officials can make decisions on evacuations or how best to combat the flames. Drones are often used to transmit images and information on wildfires in real time. Drones can fly in smoky conditions or at night when it's dark and carry fire combat fluid or water. Firefighters can control them with an app. Drones can be can be used very effectively on smaller flames, especially because they can get quite close to the targets without risking any lives. Many firefighters every year die actually in firefighting aircraft missions. And so from that perspective, even if you replace like by like, um, it's, it's a big advantage in technology not to expose humans to those dangers of fighting the fire with aircraft. Innovative helmets are just another way to help firefighters on the ground. The helmets feature augmented reality technology and thermal imaging which enables firefighters to see through smoke and darkness. But the best way to fight wildfires is to prevent them. The US state of California has been severely hit by wildfires in recent years. The state's firefighting agency works with computer modeling to create daily wildfire risk forecasts. These kinds of forecastings are usually based on Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, a computer system that analyzes geographically referenced data, like maps, streets, buildings, and vegetation. The simulations can help identify risk areas because they are densely populated or have a lot of dry vegetation. The authorities could then plan accordingly, for example, removing dead trees that could become fuel. So while the effects of the climate crisis, such as severe heat and drought, are fueling wildfires, today's technology is improving in tackling early signs of detection. It's much better to identify the risk for a fire and not to have an ignition than actually fighting a fire. So technology is probably most useful in preventing fires from happening in the first place. What's your country doing to combat wildfires? Let us know.